we'll see who pops on. I'm not sure if I'm really sharing this out per se. Maybe, I don't know. <coughs> I gotta find myself anyway. Gotta get on the page. Hey, look, there I am. See, found myself. I feel crooked. I always feel crooked. Hi, Kelly. I always feel crooked. Something's not right. I changed my stuff. Introducing new seasonal virtual gifts. No, thank you, Facebook. Um, and I can't see comments in here yet. Okay, I'm not really sending out on Facebook because I'm not, I mean, I'm kind of doing Chalk Couture stuff, but I'm not really doing Chalk Couture stuff. I am, but I'm not. I'm prepping some Christmas trees. These are the ones from last year because I still have like six or seven of them uh, that need to be used. So we're prepping some Christmas trees. So then we can eventually put some cute patterns on them. And other patterns that I have. I don't think we're getting to that part tonight, but for prepping. I can't see chat. Why can I not see chat? Yeah, I moved my chair because I was a little further over to the... Over... You... You are a little further over to the right tonight. I don't know. I'm kind of in the middle. I don't know. I think my desk is not even either. That might help. See, now I really feel, uh, whatever. I'm not going to look. I can't see the live chat. And I can't refresh. What the heck? There. Anyway, we're painting some trees. Because the trees that I did have, besides that set, which I'm never selling, uh, that's my foxes. The set that I did have from 2019, that was still that I found when I was unpacking stuff, it sold, uh, and I don't have any trees made. And my next craft show that I know of is December 4th, but I'm trying to get one in this weekend, so I have to get some more stuff made. I got to do the backside of some more deer. That's not, I can't, Facebook, let's just put it that way. Oh, look, there's freaking comments. You do have a diamond beside your name. Let's see what it means. I don't know what it means. Top fan, and you actually have a little uh, badge that has a two in it because you're an anniversary follower. So I guess you're a two-year anniversary follower. Look at you! Wow. All right. So the back of the or the packing, the sturdy board, can be used for other projects. By the way. And I'm so proud of myself. Some of you saw me post a picture. I put, I got all my tran, not my transfers. Well, I finished doing inventory on the new stuff, so that's all ready to get filed away. But my surfaces, I all, or I can't talk. Um, they're all stacked up in a shelf now. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Uh, <coughs> so I'm happy about that. There's still a couple of things of like not chalk couture surfaces that are just like miscellaneous surfaces that I got to figure out how to stack on the shelf over there because really the bottom shelf isn't that usable because it's back behind the cart that I have there and I still got to work on this situation. That situation is so much happier. So much happier. All right. 
I was painting these. That's what I was doing. Foam brushes. Ooh, I need to take that out. We have a paintbrush. I just don't really feel like using it. I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> it's fine. I just don't want to ruin it. I have a second one, but it's part of the chalk made kit that was the big round board. Okay, there's my really crappy one that's breaking apart. I have everything in here from the shows that I've been doing. Okay, these can go back over here. All right, so how have you been feeling, Miss Kelly, and anybody else that's popped on? I don't know if Florence is home. She's off work. She had some surgery on her hand. Uh, I don't know where Tori's at or any of the other local girls, or not local, Facebook girls. And the first thing I'm going to do, I have a whole bunch of old paste singles that I think just need to be thrown away. These are the old formula. That one's actually usable. But I need to open these. See if they're usable. I think they're all just trash, honestly. Ooh. Yeah. It's like old sticky gum. See? Old dried out. It's actually still usable, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to see if that would do anything. I'm not going to worry about it. Most of these are probably this way. Ugh. I don't remember. Did everybody else in the house get sick or not? That one would come back with water, but I'm not going to worry about it. I think these are just... This one's trash. I can tell you that. And I know these are old because they all have the, the little notch to tear them apart on. But I had ordered a bunch of singles to, oh yeah, to make sample kits with, and I was getting them somehow else. Oh, thanks a lot, Steve. I think this, this is the only one that's going to be usable. I have newer ones, like new, new paste singles. But I don't want to mix them with the old ones because the old ones aren't really good. Alright, well that was easy. These are all fresh. They would come back to life if I added water, but I have a jar of paste the same color. So I'm not going to deal with that. This one is the only one that might be usable. Kind of. And even that one I'm questioning. It's not, yeah, see, even this one needs water. It's like gum. <laughs> yeah, it needs water. That one I could stick in my my I have enough paste. I don't need to worry about these. I could put them in there. I could put it in there. All right. Well, that cleared out the sage color on my pile of trees. I got so many single colors. <laughs> uh, that's a long time, Kelly. All right, now I, now I gotta find the colors that I want. Oh, you know what? I was also gonna check these two. Because I think this one's usable, and I'm not sure about this one. Current Jam and Raspberry Sorbet. Because if these are usable, uh, I was gonna do something with them. And then we'll get to my jars of paste. This one feels usable. Maybe it's not. 
Here it is. I have my own jar of raspberry sorbet and currant jam. I was actually going to kind of mix these two to see what color they came out as. Hi, Miss Tori. I wondered who else was going to pop on. I didn't really send this out anywhere. I'm just messing around tonight. I got to paint some trees. See, the this one's dried out, so there's no reason to keep it either. Oh, well. Like I said, I need to clear out all those slots that have old paste singles in them because it's really not usable. But until I open them, I don't really know if it's usable or not. Because they all still, they all feel about the same squishiness until I open it. And then it's like, oh, well, that's not workable. And now I have paste on me. All right. We're starting early. We're just starting early. Go ahead and get the paste all over us. So anyway, I, I'm painting trees tonight because I need to prep them to do the cutouts, these cutouts, on them at some point for the next show, big show that I have. The big show is on the 4th. Like I said, I'm trying to line up something for this Saturday, maybe. This Saturday is weird. Let's see if I can mix this. Because I kind of want this, like, pinkish color. I don't think I have any other... I have candy apple. I'm not going to make a candy apple... I mean, I could. See, the current jam was still usable. I have jars. This is not really required. I was just trying to use these up. I really should look into my those mixed up colors that I have and see if they're dried out too. I haven't been in those in a while. Okay, this color is not really current jam. It's darker. I mean, it's fine. But it's darker than I expected. More rosy, I guess. How are the girls, Miss Tori? Well, I guess you have a guy, too. How are the kids? You have a blended family. Alright. We're going to add a little more water, and then we're going to use this to paint one side of these. Possibly. I think I have some shimmer colors over there as well to get rid of. I got a lot of I got a lot of singles over there to get to get rid of. Doop doop doop. feel like I can't see. All right. So these are last year's trees. Uh, this year's trees are different. I still have paste on myself. See my crazy pants? I always have crazy pants on that may or may not go with my shirt. So this is this year's trees. So it's one tree that goes up to here and then the other tree goes down to here. So there's two trees in here. You can't really see where they're, they're just, there's two trees and they've got little stars because the top of the trees have a notch to put the star in. So 
this year's trees are completely different from the previous year's trees, which is which was a three set. I kind of like the three set, but they don't make those anymore. So I have some, but once they're gone, they're gone. All right, we're gonna go with the. And I'm just going to paint one side of each of these in this color because I feel like doing it in this color. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of a Christmassy color. Reminds me of berries. I actually did a set of the reindeer with current jam and I think meadow. They were really cool together because one was kind of a dark and then one was the brighter meadow. I thought about doing candy apple red on the deer. I could not make because candy apple red is really like blood red. I could not make a deer blood red. I'm like, no, I can't do that. So he ended up being this color. I'm like, okay, that, that'll that work. This color will work for a deer. <laughs> Not making it candy apple. Because when you do use candy apple and then you go clean the transfer, like, it looks like somebody's bleeding out in the sink. So I was like, no, I'm not going to put that on a deer. <laughs> it would look great. Nobody else would probably even have the same thought that I had, but I was just like, no, I can't do that. I need to flip this. Yeah, I like using this color because it's... It's not screaming in your face, oh, hey, Christmas, but... It's still kind of Christmassy, but without being Christmassy. I got asked at work to work on some centerpieces for a Christmas party. I got to figure out what chalk stuff I want to use. Oh, um. What surfaces do you have, or do you want to use stuff like from the dollar type store? Because I can tell you how to make a really cool centerpiece using some stuff from the dollar store. That had chunkies in it. One side done. Yay. I'm tempted to make another. I don't know how I don't know how dark these are gonna dry. Let's dry them real quick. We're going to use the quiet one. We'll do that one. It takes longer, but it's so much quieter. I may paint another set with this since I've got enough chalk paste left from that one single. The chalk singles, or the, yeah, the paste singles, have a ton of paste in them. So it's not just like a little bit. There's a bunch in there. I think these are gonna be yeah, these are gonna be dark enough on their own. Sometimes you need it when it's watered down, you need to put a couple of layers on it. Or if you have a lot of brush stroke lines. 
I always worry about that. But then it also just makes it look ha handmade. going to be that dark. Question is what color do I put on top of them? I'm thinking gold, shimmer gold. Maybe. Shimmer copper? I don't know. I have several shimmer colors. I have a truck cut out, a couple of door hangers, I have some clear plastic ornaments, banners, probably more. Just can't think which ones. Okay. I'm thinking, and I also have to sneeze. Hold that thought. That's not big enough. Why am I going to put these on a separate cardboard? <laughs> I can just put another piece of cardboard on the desk where I'm at and just move this whole piece of cardboard. OMG. I know I need to put that hardware somewhere. All right, let me get that out of the way. This whole thing can go over here, go over there, sit, boo boo, sit, sit, don't fall. All right, there. Okay, so when's this event? Or when's your event, Kelly? I mean, obviously it's coming up because it's Christmas. Here's what I suggest, depending on when your event is, order some 9 by 9 box frames, so they're 9 by 9 right? Go to the dollar store, get the Hot Wheels racetrack in the kids section, they're long strips. Uh, you need two for each one, so you need a box frame for each table, eight. Okay. Eight. Okay. The box frames are really cheap. You can also auction these off or sell them. Um, or you may think of something else. But get the box frames. They're cheap. Nine by nines. So they're, you know, I have one somewhere. Somewhere. Or nine by nines. <laughs> Go to the dollar store, get the racetracks. You need two for each one. Spray paint those suckers and the box frame. Well, actually, the box frame doesn't matter. Spray paint the racetrack white, gold, silver, whatever color, not bright orange. And then glue it into the box frame where it goes. I need something like this over each other into the corners so it makes an arch I have I can find a picture of it but you make an arch and then you put like a little topper on the top so like a little wooden peg to secure it you put it through the racetrack and you secure it you glue all that together and then the center you fill with whatever you want greenery your ornaments that you filled with some, you decorated on the outside with some chalk. Uh, what do we have? St uh, transfers? <laughs> chalk designs. Uh, you've taken and put.
put some sorry I'm listening to the car outside we had somebody come through last week with a Cadillac that was a lookout car and a tow truck that came in and stole a truck. I was trying to steal a truck, uh, except for they goofed up and they made way too much noise and jacked up the truck and the car that they hit it with, or hit with the truck. But then they did it in a neighborhood not too far from here as well. So they're 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 out doing their thing. Anyway, um, you can chalk on some small pieces and then put them on the inside of those clear ornaments. And you can make little displays that way. I will find you a picture of what I'm talking about because I know who has done them on a live. And I know there's other pictures of them that other people have done in our chalk pages, but I know exactly where to find one to send to you. But yeah, you could spray paint those arches gold or white, silver, whatever color you want. And they actually look really, really good. Like don't, just because it's like racetrack, it doesn't look like racetrack. Like I've seen, seen the pit, seen them. I haven't seen them. Actually, I have seen one in person at Chalk Tour, Couture Tour. I saw one in person. So they actually look really good. You just gotta have the hot glue and the spray paint. And then like I said, you can auction them off or do whatever with them, sell them. I have not made one myself. So I don't know how difficult it is, but as many people as I've seen that can that have made it, and some of the people that I know that have made it that aren't very crafty at all, you could easily do that. Because I know how you work, Kelly. You could easily do that. Alright. Should have enough paste do this last tree and then we'll work on some other colors. So what color do you think I should put on with this? cranked on and it's too hot. It's too hot because I'm back here with the light on. The extra light. Alright. That's enough for these. See? Use most of it. I do have navy blue. There's a lot of paste still. I want something bright that's bright because this is dark so I want something bright and the other side I will do with the brighter color and then use current jam for the designs so that way they can flip them back and forth to whichever ones they want but they all match ish they all go together and I gotta make sure I don't put my hands on my face since I've got paste everywhere Silver, shimmer, frost, shimmer black, any shimmer, I think. Yeah. I 
that's usually what I tend to do on the trees is like put one color as the shimmer it just kind of beefs it up makes it special don't we have a navy a blue shimmer I think we do I mean Obviously not in here. Three shimmers in there. Pretty sure we had a shimmer blue. Pretty damn sure we had a shimmer blue. Maybe I didn't order it. Oh, yeah we do. There it is. It's too dark. Too dark for this color. Shimmer Splash. I knew we did. Alright, so there's two piles of trees. I see that's what that's what those trees are done in. With the papaya for my foxes. Uh but yeah. The sage and eucalyptus, there's not a huge difference in them. There they are. But these are not mixed up, they're kind of separated. So, ew. It fell over on its side. So, eucalyptus is the bottom, sage is the top. So, one's brighter green, the other one's more mossy green. And those colors are great. I like them. I like them a lot. They're very neutral color without being bam in your face. Well, I mean, not even neutral. They are, but they aren't. I need to put these trees somewhere and move to the next set. eight sets of these trees. If you want a set of these trees before I paint them or paint them all or to make them all designs, like a naked set of these trees, you better let me know before I work on them all. What? Oh. cardboard. I need another cardboard. I had just moved all my cardboard. Part of my organiza organization of my surfaces, I put all my cardboard in the right, in the same, like, area too. Not surfaces, but. All right. I just think that's going to be too dark. We can try it. I do want to make a set of blue and silver trees. Have I opened this? I'm not, see, I haven't even opened it. The problem with the shimmers though, you really need to put a color down first and then put the shimmer on top of it. So I'm going to see what I have in my made up little colors over here because I think they may all be dried up and need to be cleaned out. I did 
the new faith transfer with big flowers with eucalyptus. Another color, can't think what color, but it was so pretty. We're gonna have to figure out what color. This is like the blue version of eucalyptus. Well, you can't really tell what it is. It's like the blue version of eucalyptus. That's about what it is. And because these are mixed up colors, I'm not gonna change my little stir stick because these need to all be stirred. This one's totally separated from the water. And it is very wa watery. If it wasn't quite so watery, I, quite so watery, I would say this would be a great color to use underneath the shimmer, but it's too watery. You want to be able to like, like with the current jam, do it in one coat, not four. Pretty color though. Just think it's too watery. OMG. <laughs> I got it all over me. I got it all over me. Send me a picture of that one, Kelly. Or post it in the team page. That would be good. And I gotta remember to buy that mystery box. So this week, the last week of November, like Chocotour has been doing mystery boxes every Monday. And this is the last week they are doing a mystery box. And this week is the large transfers and they are a bargain. Um, so the large transfers are C, D, and E size, so it's the really big transfers. Sometimes those really big transfers are multiple layer ones like uh, houses where you put different, where it comes as a bigger transfer and you cut it apart. I kind of want to use that color. There's maybe some of that. All right, we're going to use this color. I've got paste everywhere. Finally, using some of my mixed up, my, 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 my mixed up, my mixed up colors. We'll do one layer with this, and then the shimmer can go on top of it. But you really have to have. A base layer otherwise it's going to take several coats of the shimmer save you a tree set okay this one is really thick This is thicker than I want it.
I have come to learn that the trees don't need to be any particular Christmas color. Doesn't matter. Because now, if you go to the, if you go to the store for Christmas stuff, it's in every color possible. <laughs> so, whatever color you want your trees to be in, they can be in. Whatever color you want to put on your tree, they can be in. Whatever you want to decorate your house with. There's some chunkies in here that are causing a problem. Get those off of there. Okay, good enough for one. Now this one may not be as dark as the other one. Depends on how much I put on it. Chunky. One of the businesses that I, well, they're local. It's a craft place, but it's a small mom and pop craft place. And they posted their Christmas tree that they put up and it's a white tree. And then they put rainbow colored balls on there, not rainbow colored balls, but they put ornaments. Let's say the right word ornaments. They took, and started with like yellow at the top and then went to orange and red and purple and blue and green and then I think yellow again at the oh the lime ones at the bottom it was really pretty like that is a cool look I think they just had white lights on it I can't remember I don't think colored lights would look good with that. I think it would need white. Oh, that reminds me. I can start putting my little lights on above me. I have a chunk that's in the way. Oh, wrong direction. Wrong direction. They really are. Kind of. They're kind of hidden. Uh, most of them are hidden. Okay, well, we'll just turn that off. All right, one more tree. And this will mostly use up this color. Mostly. There's still some in there. There's a lot in the brush, too. There's always a ton in the brush. So, I, because it's the holiday week, I didn't have hockey tonight. I don't have scorekeeping tomorrow. I don't have scorekeeping on Wednesday. <laughs> Obviously, there's no games on Thursday or Friday. Unfortunately, I do have my own game on Saturday and Sunday because... They got moved. They were originally supposed to be off, but then a whole bunch of tour kid tournaments got planned, and so they had to rearrange our schedule, and our, pre our games earlier in the season for those weekends got pushed to this weekend. Bleah. 
I was looking forward to a whole week without having to leave and go to the rink. Which is why I'm working on craft stuff for a show. Because I have time to do it and there's a hair that keeps getting in the way. I blame the little fuzzy dog. It's her hair. That is a huge chunk. Get off. Kelly, you never did say when your event was that you needed the centerpieces for. I'm planning on, in my free time that I'm not crafting, maybe watching some TV shows that I've had in my to-watch list for a long time. There are certain shows that I can just put on for background noise, but if, some, it's, if it's something I haven't seen before, I want to pay attention to it, so I can't really, like even come in here and craft and put it on and listen to it because I want to watch it. Like reruns of like Frasier, that's like my go-to because I, I know what the characters are going to, facial expressions are going to be and that kind of stuff. Or like Office Space, the movie that I've seen a million times or some of the other ones that I've got saved. Uh, I, I, I can just put them on as background music. But a new show I actually have to pay attention to, so that it doesn't quite work. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, y'all have been sick. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of excited to do that. I want to watch... I get Hulu. I don't have cable. I don't pay for it. I get Hulu free with my... Uh, it used to come free with Sprint, and they changed me to... What are we now? T-Mobile? Uh, and it just grandfathered in, so I still get free Sprint, or not Sprint, Hulu, and I want to watch that Only Murderers in the Building that they had with uh, Steve Martin and Martin Short and some other people. I want to watch that one, and there's several other shows that I really need to catch up on that I am behind on. I want to see if I can watch the new CSI with Gil Grissom back on the show, because that's the ones that I like. We'll see. I don't think I can get that. And I'm going to have to subscribe to just Showtime and so I can watch the new Dexter, because Dexter's my boy. Sorry. <laughs> He's my boy. It was very sad when he went off of the air. Okay, so these other trees are not dry. This one's definitely not. So I don't want to flip them over and do the other side yet. These are obviously not dry. Uh, caught up on 911, the rookie, good duck. See, the, I haven't even started the rookie, and I love Nathan. I love Nathan from Firefly. Nathan and I go, Nathan and I go way back. I, so I need to catch the rookie too. Oh, I need another set of trees. Pardon me. Oh my God, this is so nice. Like, I posted a picture. You can go look on the Facebook page for my, for 34 designs. It's so nice to just go over there and find what I want and grab what I want. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, and look, now the laptop's thinking.
to take the trash out. It's full now with all those wrappers. I kind of want to move these. I don't know where to put them. that's not ready I can't put the I can't put the shimmer on it yet it'll just pull up the other these have to be really dry before putting on another color otherwise the first layer is just going to come up but I can do another set probably on the same board I have enough room, kind of. So, uh, get out of the way. I need to pick a color out though. I didn't spill it everywhere, I wouldn't know what I was doing, right? That's not paper towel. That's paper towel. All right. I think this is the other color I had. We're going to play. Yeah, this is the other color. Oops, now I made it too watery. Dang it. All right. I don't know how to do this. I mean, I kind of know how to do this, but... run out of real estate. I am. Kelly, you know exactly what I'm doing. I had another brush. There it is. Oh, this is a new brush. It's stiff.
Dang dog. Kinda looks like seawater. Okay, I can see your ombre up here, but it hasn't come up over here. It's so weird. So random. And I need to get that off. These are like beachy Christmas trees. Wish it really didn't have those chunkies in there. That'd be even better. Get off. Get off. Off, off, off. Oh, great. I got rid of one. I added a new one. Get off. All right, that dog has left some hair as a present on this foam brush. She's not been around this foam brush. I don't know why. Could be the fuzzy dog. You know, the cute fuzzy one. I'm not putting that up there. Your comment still that would look pretty with the mountain transfer on it as a scene you're right Some little dog has left some hair. Get off there. Now I feel like I got hair everywhere. All right, I need to do the last one. I need to flip this around. Those look pretty cool. Those look really cool. All right, 
Last one. Your chat still hasn't caught up over here. How weird. Stupid Facebook. <laughs> she probably does. Actually, it's not when I go to bed. It's when I'm at work. She probably comes in here and crafts. Sneaks in here, does her doggy thing, you know. Leaves some hair. One of my, my mom and I's favorite Garfield ever, Garfield comic. Um, so Garfield, John was always finding Garfield's hair in his food. It was a common theme, right? It's a cat. So there's always, there's always cat hair in the food. It's just what happens. And one of the, and so it was a reoccurring theme for several weeks. Like it was just, He'd sit down to eat and there'd be hair. It was just part of the, <laughs> part of poor John's life. There's dog hair everywhere, or cat hair everywhere. And so finally at the end of this reoccurring theme, <laughs> they showed Garfield walking by, pulling out hair, <laughs> dropping it on the food on purpose. <laughs> and then they showed him again doing the same thing. Like... Like, he was actually doing it on purpose. It wasn't that he just happened to walk by and got some hair in there. He actually was walking by and pulled out hair and dropped it on there on purpose. It's like, and John caught him. That was why it was funny, because John caught him walk, walking by and just like, dropping the hair. I was like, I knew it. Didn't mean to do that. That looks a little goofy. Still not sure if these are more mountainous or more beachy feeling. I want that one to dry a little bit. See, I still can't see it. Oh, it's up there. I dig them though. I really dig it. Okay, well, I've got four sides of trees done, but I don't think we're ready to do the other sides of these yet. We'll do that tomorrow. This is why it's not exactly quick for me to make trees or deer or stars because I like to put designs on or at least something on both sides. I could do one side and be done but I like to give you a bang for your buck so I like to have both sides have a decoration on it of some sort even if it's just painted not just a plain white tree. All right that needs to be washed. This will need to be washed. All right, so I get paint washes, uh, paste washes out. 
So I guess we're done for tonight because I don't have any more room to put any more trees anywhere. And I'm dropping paste on my leg, my pants. So like I said, these do need to try. I will let them dry for 24 hours before going. I don't like doing the sides. I know some people go back and do it. I don't like doing the sides. Because if you do it one, if you do it in one color, it needs to, like, do you do it half and half so it matches both sides? Do you do it, um, do you do it black? Now, a friend of mine did her trees and deer, trees and star, uh, like the star cutouts, which I need to order some more of those. Um, they were black and white. Like, she just did basic black and white, which I'm tempted to do a set as well. We'll see. Uh, she painted the, the sides of them black. So I get that. That, but for the most part, I don't really go over when I'm doing it. I'm being very careful about it. So I don't really go over. So in that case, it's okay. Now, if I made a big oopsie, then yeah. These comments still aren't coming up over here. I gotta be careful I don't stick my arms in that. Uh, I like that you... I like that you do classy and poopy... poppy. And poppy sides are Christmas tree is color changing. We can change them depending on, I can't receive the rest of it. Say more. I like that you do, that you do classy and poppy sides. Our Christmas tree is color changing. We can change them depending on the mood of the day, day and night. I hope I said that right. I believe you said that right. Your Christmas tree, probably lights, you can change them to whatever the mood is that you're, you're feeling. I have a feeling I'm going to stick my hand in that. See, and these, these are, this one's still wet. So I can't even put the shimmer on top of that one yet. I will. Just not yet. I am really digging these. Like, look how cool that is. And it's still wet right there. That dark spot. Look how cool. Like, this one's still got some wet as well. Might have to do a green set like this. Light to dark. All right, um, that's the same with, same with your trees. Yep. And like I said, I like to do the other side as well and then have the colors where you can flip them back and forth. So you've got three trees with six different designs, but depending on which way you turn them, you have m multiple combinations. So I just got to figure out the colors for those. That we're gonna put we're gonna put the shimmer blue on top of that, and then I'll figure out these. And then I gotta put designs on of some sort. And it doesn't have to necessarily be these. I can put whatever pattern I want on it. A lot of times people put the buffalo plaid on it, so that may be an option too on one of those sets of trees. One, two, three, four. Which really only gives me three extra sets because I'm saving a set for Kelly. All right, so that's it. I can't do any more because I'm out of room and these guys need to dry. So I'm gonna go wash these foam brushes and 
my color tray from earlier and then we'll do some more. Ombre do mountain on one side and beach on the other. Maybe. Ow, my leg hurt all of a sudden. Maybe. Sorry, wheels are turning in my head. I'm thinking about making it Christmas C. C. Yeah, you see the wheels turning. I'm trying to think of, a, think of the words that I have. I have way too many transfers. I, I, I know I have a zillion, not a zillion. I have a bunch of the Christmas, like the word Christmas, but I'm trying to think of the size of the word C. If I could do Christmas C. Like on that one. In fact, I know where the word C is that's about that big. So it would be perfect. I just got to find the word Christmas that's about that same size and I can put it down there. Christmas C. Because it's Christmas C. And then I can put like shells and stuff on these guys. We'll see. Wheels are turning. All right. I will catch y'all later. Y'all have a good night. That's, oh, the little sea, tur sea turtle. <sighs> yeah, the little sea turtle. I was thinking of the big sea turtle. I don't think you know about that one, but it was about this big. <laughs> it was a D-sized transfer. It's long retired, but it was a big sea turtle. I forget about the little one. He might actually fit on here. And I have seahorses and shells and things like that. So we may make this a Christmas sea side. Haha. <laughs> All right. Have a good night. I will catch you later. I'm trying not to put a boob on that tree and mess it up. Bye. Appreciate you watching.